Hello, everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Um, again, this is a second video that I'm doing it on Sunday night. It is uh, almost um, 11 p.m. So I'm going to finish with this short video and um, you guys have a great uh, evening if um, you're on uh, California time, but if you're any other time, <laughs> and so um, any time that you have, uh, I hope you, uh, you have a great day. And so let's just uh, do um, and show you, I'm gonna show you how to record, uh, how to record um, that, uh, commands uh, on uh, Linux or Unix machines using a script command. A script by default, you can um, capture any um, logs of activities that you're doing it. At the same time, you can record it so you can replay it back. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to record it so you can play it back. On another video, I demonstrated how to record uh, and capture logs of uh, information that you need to do. So let's just do that one. Um, so I say, what is a script command? And it just says, make transcript uh, type script of uh, terminal session. And if I say what is um, a script replay, that one is uh, just playback and transcript using uh, timing information. So in this case, we need uh, two files. One files to uh, keep the record of uh, the commands we do, and another file is the actual timing. So in this case, I'm going to do a script, and then I'm going to give a file name called uh, my uh, commands. Um, we could write .text, .info, whatever, or don't give an extension, doesn't matter. And then um, dash dash timing, or you could give the option of um, option of uh, dash t for um, replacement to dash dash timing, and then time dot log. So now I have started the script. I'm going to say pwd. I'm going to say id, and then I say um, calendar, and then who command, and then um, ps minus e f grep minus i http. If I'm running an HTTP, let's just look for Apache, which I'm running. So on this one, if I just um, get those commands in addition to um, clear my screen here, and then um, since the terminal uh, is um, VI, a code dollar sign term, and the clear command did not work. So I'm gonna say export term is equal to VT100. Then I say clear command and it will work. So at this time, df dash h, um, uname minus a, uh, cat etc os dash release. Um, let's just do clear screen again, find dot minus name star dot c plus plus. I could just say, well, um, for the hello dot c plus plus, I could say find hello dot c plus plus um, for hello um, dot c plus plus. And at the same time, run that minus exact minus n uh, display um, cat minus n display the file um, as it is showing there. So with that, uh, I'm going to just um, exit out of it. And then um, that would finish my script. Now, if I do ls minus ltr, at the bottom, I have two files timing.log and my uh, command.log. Let me clear the screen again and do that command. And you can see there's two files. In order to run the what I have recorded on the my commands dot, uh, this is the list of all the commands that I did, right? So the logs file, if I look at the log file, and cat minus n time dot log, it has basically timestamp and then um, Look at the list of things that I did um, with um, a timestamp of the uh, log uh, stuff. So how long it took the time and everything. So clear the screen, ls minus ld. Let's just play it now what we have recorded. In order to do, do it, you do a script replay and then dash dash. Um, uh, you can give the name of the file uh, commands and then dash dash timing is equal time.log. 
And then now I just uh, take my um, keys uh, keyboard out off of the uh, keyboard, uh, my fingers off of the keyboard, and then I let it, um, the script run it. As you can see, and the commands, you, nobody would memorize that many commands uh, uh, right away. So it is not that I'm typing it, it is the script that is typing. And um, now Apache is showing up. I tried a clear screen uh, earlier. The VI was set. Now it's going to say echo dollar sign term. So basically all the commands that I did, and then I should now export the command VT100. And that is good. Clear command worked. Now DF dash H to get a long list of the storage disk uh, spaces. And I believe now we are doing the C++ files and then uh, look for the file with the uh, hello. And if you want to just um, re-record, uh, add to the options, you could do the same parameter by just um, using the script minus A option for a pen. So everything else is the same. As an example, let's say I just do a simple, a short um, generating logs. I could say script minus A, uh, actually a script minus um, say new uh, script dot text minus, uh, and then just start that one. I do a PWD who command and then exit. Now, if I just uh, say, uh, cut a new script, it just shows cut a new script.txt. It just shows what I wrote there. But if I want to say new script.txt, if I want to append to uh, to it more, I could just say um, the file name is uh, new script.txt. As you can see, the size is small because the content of it now is um, only, um, let's see how many lines it is, it only 17 lines. So if I just want to add to it, I could say a script minus A for append and new script dot text. Now, every command that I do, calendar of 2022, the date command, and then um, uh, ls minus l uh, command and i just exit out and if i just say okay uh, great now all the files are written to it and now um, that new script you can see that it is um, larger so if i just say cat minus n new script dot text you can see it is much uh, larger than 17 uh, lines that it was previously 74 so that uh, script minus a will append to it Okay, I hope uh, you enjoyed it and learned from it. Uh, basically, you can use the script command to capture any information from your commands and then and the output of your command, as well as uh, capture logs of records so you can later review them, as well as you record it by um, so on. Uh, I mean, you can record some commands and then later on you can play it. The advantage of recording is going to be good for monitoring. So you can see how the status of certain Apache web server was reacting or top output command that was reacting on a server or even install software. If you wanna install something on one machine and then um, script it and then later on start that script in any other machine, you could just uh, um, do it like a distributed um, kind of architecture. So you could apply it in many, many other um, VMs or many other servers at the same time, the same installation, almost similar to like um, solved configuration. Have a nice one. Please enjoy, uh, don't forget to enjoy and like it. If you like it, uh, just um, make sure you subscribe so you can see more videos. Have a nice one. Thank you so much. Um, bye now.